right, you guys, I'm uh, back with Crash, and I uh, actually have her getting it out of the basket now, so I could see where that would help her. And I think that's what you have to think of. I mean, if you're training a dog, your job is doing everything to help it figure out what you're trying to say. You know, that's why I say the handler should never act erratically or tease the dog or say things like, I'm just playing. I'm just playing with them. Anyway, I've got the basket, so she does understand. She'll be over here in a second. Wait and see. I can do, there's my pager. Once she knows the basket's there, You little monkey. And her nose is swollen because Birdie bit her in the nose. You precious little monkey. You know, and if you said, where would you go from there? You, I think you could put the basket farther away. I think that she would find it and that she would... You know, and I do want to give her some impression that maybe I'm getting farther away. You know, and who knows? Who knows? Next, she'll be picking up the basket. Because I do have her picking up other things. I've got this giant bow that apparently there's this... Oh, look, she's looking in there. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that, she doesn't pick it up next. But I think what you could do is you could put them in there. And then you could put the basket... started this this morning. You gotta jockey around a little to get him out of there. Oh, it's like a puzzle. You know, and I should probably try to use my pager to get her to come to me a little bit. almost brought it to me a little bit. <laughs> oh, what's she toying with me now? Here she comes, here she comes. Ah. She's got to have a sense that she dropped it, though. Now I need to just, you know, my job is just suddenly up here. You know, once she understands the task, Anyway, Mike, my advice is go out and get a basket forthwith. Straight away, man. Tally ho, off to the store. <laughs> get a basket. Surely they have those here. Surely they have those in the UK. Anyway, Ryan, I'm, uh, anyway, Mike, I hope you guys are impressed. Uh, and I think, you know, I think you see where you could probably put the basket farther away. I mean, I, it, would, it wouldn't be like, yeah, I think it would, it, I, she would learn to find the ba whole basket of them easier than if you just sent her on a mission just looking for one. Anyway, guys, it's freezing cold out here, but I will be right back. 
And Ryan, I'm super excited to see that video, so get working on it. Honestly, and if it, if it was me and the way I started with this dog, if it would pick it up one time, I would reward that knowing, and she'll pick up other things too. Let me show you. Oh yeah, let me show you. All she's got to do is know that it's dropped. And I do it so that it kind of, you know, let's see if she can find that on her own. Oh yeah, this is what they do. Yeah, I think she's going to find it herself in a second. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you why. The whole reason it was on my wrist was because she found it herself earlier. If she steps on it, uh-huh, you see? She goes a lot by feel. You know, I understand that when she's looking for it, if she steps on it, that, you know, she does, because remember when she was a puppy, she would always use the grass. You know, but the way I do it is I just make it sort of incidentally touch her as it drops. She knows I'm over here. You're going to get it, you little monkey. <laughs> She wants to be paid right away, though. And you see, that's what the, she just kind of stands there. So I've got to get past that. I've got to get her. Somehow, she's got to learn to bring it to me. Yeah, that's how I spend the whole day. <laughs> you little monkey. So I never lose anything again. All right, you guys, I will be right back. <laughs> 